So, um, I'm a big Nas guy. And I want to ask you, because <laughs> as a Nas fan, I feel because JC has been so profitable as a business, he's been put up, and JC's great as a musician, but he's not like the top 10 artists, I, rap artists I listen to. Do you feel that because of his business prowess and success, they've put him higher than he should be musically? Again, I don't really think about that. Like, you know, Nas... I think his business acumen, from what I read, is is really heavy. Like uh, recently, yeah, he not recently. I mean, Nas, that, yeah, Nas people, business is crazy. You got you got to remember that certain things are about narrative. So the reason why Jay and I, the conversation we had, like, why are you acting like that, was because I want to be looked at as a businessman. This is what he said. That was my, his narrative. So you know, regardless of who has the most money, like Kanye might be a billionaire or Rihanna, but they don't come across talking about. I'm a business person. Right. That's just his narrative. Like, you know, George Clooney and 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 the other Ryan Reynolds, they all billionaires that are, you know, on the low. They don't go and be like, I'm a businessman. That's his thing to make announcements about business, because I guess he might have been insecure about the fact that he was a rapper. But I don't I don't I don't think that I don't think that Nas gets any less accolades. I just think that Nas doesn't work so hard on press. Okay. Like you gotta remember, like Jay's married to Beyonce. You know, like none of us are married. Like that's not what we're doing, right? So that comes with a lot of celebrity and a lot of being in the newspaper. So a lot of us don't want. We don't gauge our success on how many times we in the newspaper. Like going to an event, every fucking event that exists must be the most. That's a business within itself. So there's like a certain circle of like ten, twenty people that are at every single event, every day at an event. Mm. There's people that that's their job. They leverage celebrity maybe because of lack of something. So when people are outside too much, that to me is overcompensation. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's why I stopped going out so much. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm tired. You got to get dressed. You got to go there. There's a driver. It's all this type of stuff. It's, you know, it's a big to do when you go to events. Think about going and, and it'd be like everywhere in the world. I'd be like, God damn. How many award shows could one person go to? <laughs> How many red carpets could somebody want to walk on? Like, that shit, when I go out like that, I want to go home. I'd be like, oh, okay, I'm out of here. It's not like I want to be there. So just because I think that's, like, for me, I think Nas, for me, the way his approach is way cooler. Because he does cool shit. You know, his shit is cool. Like, you know, then he do Uber. He's a businessman. He's killing it. He's killing it. He just no, Real businessmen and the real rich guys don't make announcements about their money. They don't. Like, yeah. the guys that I know that got real money are not on Forbes. Okay. I think what uh, Alejandro wanted to know, when Nas came out with that Ether album, what was you guys, like, image of that? Was you guys, like, we got Giddy. Nah, you know, nah, how we, do you feel about Jay response? I Jay's think response that's where, was I think terrible. That's where, yeah, it, well, the it, thing it is, we had out. first hit him with the, 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 the joint at Summer Jam that was kind of hard when we take over. the things. But then when he came with the Ether... I was kind of hyped because he said my name. I was hyped. <laughs> like, yes, I'm in a map record. But the response, I wasn't there for the response. I, was, I had landed. Irv Gotti fucked that one up. You know, every time Irv got in that business, he fucked shit up. So you would say Nas won the bad, that battle? Yeah, that battle, yeah, yes. That, that's what shit. I thought, but like, you know. What do you mean, but you know? He did. <laughs> yeah, he won that one. I'm not saying he didn't. He threw that ether on him. He had the nigga, he had him apologizing, like... It's the, the, the rap that he did was whack. Like, when I heard it, I was pissed. Like, I heard it. I was coming from doing a Rockwear ad on a private, you know, I just landed from, like, Arizona. And I'm listening to the shit on the radio. I'm like, what the fuck is this? So I'm like, I made, I was like, go to the fucking uh, baseline, you know, because I want to know what happened. I'm like, what the fuck happened? And they in there high-fiving and something. What y'all high-fiving for? This shit is whack. This nigga talking about other niggas' business and shit. Like, we don't do that, you know? And then it was like Irv. I was like, Irv Gotti. Call Herb, though, don't ever get my business again, bro. Like, what you doing? You not about war. You see how his wars go with rap? He doesn't win them. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. he's not a general like that. So, it was like, stay out of my business. And Herb keeps talking about me all the time. Like, stop talking about me, Herb. Damn. <laughs> he's still talking about you? Yeah, I be getting these little interviews and shit. He cut the, like, damn, 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 damn. Like, what the fuck? Who the fuck cares? You know? I don't feel like explaining that. Leave that alone. And all, all this other shit. So it's like, I don't know. Sometimes I don't understand her. 
So have you ever had a sit down after your beef with Jay or even Irv Gotti? Have you had a sit down with them afterwards? I ain't got no beef with Irv Gotti. He oh. just gets on my nerves. Oh. I just want him to stop talking about me. That's okay. I stop talking about him. But um, I, I'm, stop, I'm sick of him bringing me up on interviews like I'm the go-to for him or something, you know? But because um, his, his story ain't, ain't the story, you know? But with Jay, like, there was a time that, like, if my daughter wanted to go to a show or something, I would hit Jay, and not even, like, his show. Like, if I wanted to go to Mumford and Sons or some shit. And, as, like, a gentleman, he did everything right. Like, our correspondence, so be, but we never had that talk. Oh, okay. Nah. He wouldn't, he, I don't think he wants that talk. I you know, think he's going to have it one day. I would, I would welcome it. Yeah. I want that talk. I'd be curious to know why he did what he did. Right here on That's Fucked Up. <laughs> Jay-Z and Dame <laughs> Dash. Hey, <laughs> Dame. That would be me. Coming together. Yeah, that would be me. Like, yo, that was fucked up. <laughs> why you do that, my nigga? Like, damn. You know? You didn't have to approach it like that. And why are you still fucking with me, man? Call your crew, man. Call your dogs off me, Shadowball. 